my name is Laura. I review popular internet recipes to see if they're actually any good and if they can be achieved by us mere non-chefs. And today, non-chefs, we are going to be attempting The Cake Melts in Your Mouth Very Easy and Cheap by The Perfect Home. Now, do I know what this cake is? No. <laughs> uh, is it a cake? Yeah, I think, I think it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wonderful Polish cake. Great start, Laura. Got there in the end. Now let's find out if us non-chefs can make this wonderful Polish cake. See if it does indeed melt in the mouth and is easy for us non-chefs and if the end result is in fact cheap. So let's go. But before we get started, Laura's not a chef. Oh, oh. <laughs> Laura's not a chef for all things food. Laura Danielle for more daily life kind of shenanigans. And my coffee account will be down below if you ever want to show your support. If you enjoy food videos, review videos, and someone being silly, chaotic, and idiotic, please consider subscribing. Let's go to the ingredients. Ingredients. So here we have all the delicious ingredients we need to make our delicious Polish melt in the mouth cheap easy <laughs> cake <sighs> all right so we begin our polish journey over here making the cake part i guess you would call it let's continue let i mean let's begin <laughs> let us start first thing we're gonna do is add our butter <laughs> Damn it. wouldn't that have been so cool if it went inside <laughs> Oh, I should turn it on. Give me the fire. Ooh, the gas. <laughs> the gas. Okay, so we're melting the butter with a wooden spoon. All right. So it's melted. Milky time. Some water. Then a half a teaspoon of salt. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I guess I'm down to two cups now. So I don't know what that's meant to be doing. So we'll just leave it for now. And so we have a lovely bowl of flour and the baking powder. And we just give it a little mixy mix like this. Gently put that one down. When it starts to boil, pour in the flour. And when it comes off the pot easy, it's ready. Okay, it's boiling. Oh no, I forgot. Do I just add it all in or is it gradual? Is it gradual all at once? Let's try and maneuver this. Oh no, gotta move faster. Okay, it looks like it's ready. Turn off the heat, pop it in a bowl. And we just gotta let this cool down. Now we turn on our oven. Sorry, bumblebee buzzing outside. So we're turning our oven on to 200. I think that this is a cool enough consistency. Add one egg at a time and mix. Right, so the last egg has been incorporated and this is the mixture which is exactly what hers looks like so hurrah to us hurrah there they are standing in a row bum, bum, bum. big one small one some as big as your head we've got a 25 centimeter cake tin we've never made a cake this big before friends yeah um crazy i have big cake tins so this is really my time to shine oh and you have to put baking paper at the bottom and i just oh, <laughs> clipped it this way <laughs> so now we're gonna pour half of our dough in let's do a little division excellent and then we spread this across our cake tin delicious I think 
And now we get to put it in the oven 20 minutes in the medium low part of the oven. Bye friend, see you in 20 minutes. Cooking time. So once that's finished in the oven, we take it out and then we do the other half in the cake tin whilst the other, the first one is cooling down. So I guess I'll see you then. Cream. Oh. They're ready. Okay, so let's let's break it out of its chains. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see that steam. Ooh! So this is the first one, and this is the second one. Let's move on to this. So we need two eggs. Let's add our sugar. Give it a whisk. Whisk, 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 whisk. 100 grams of flour. <laughs> I can't whisk and do this at the same time. This will look nice and smooth. Oh yeah. 500 ml of milk. Bring to a boil. When it starts to boil, cook for three minutes and then turn off. Oh, I should stir. I'm starting to get clumpy. I don't want the clump clumps. Say no to the clump clumps, but yes to the fluff fluff. Since this is taking forever to boil, let me just say thanks for a thousand subscribers, friend. You guys are the best. Thank you for all the love, support, and everything. I feel rather chuffed. So lovely that you guys enjoy making, <laughs> enjoy joining me on these non-chef journeys. Hopefully we have more adventures in the future. I mean, we will, but I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just so happy. Oh, this is like not boiling, it's just thickening. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, I think I did something wrong. This mine's really thick. I was waiting for it to boil, but it didn't. It just, it didn't look boiling. It was just, it was just super thick. I mean, I don't know. This is so sick. I mean, it tastes nice. It's just, how about I put it all together and I'll see how it looks. Feeling like a napa. Oh, one butter time. Just make this butter go fluff. Is it creamy and dreamy? And then, of this a little at a time. Oh, and then she said you can add a little bit of vanilla, so that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right, time to um, make the cake. Hurrah! Okay, so we grab back our little tape, taking bins, <laughs> cake, taking tins. Get out the way. I'm trying to make a cake. I think this one looks splendid. <laughs> what about you? My phone has just been a nightmare. I cleared all my phone of all my beloved photos and it's still all grumpy and like, you don't have any space. And I'm like, stop lying to me. Anyway, actually, since my phone's been a hole, <laughs> come over here. Ah, safe to say today is a dishes day. <laughs> now that you can see, this beautiful cake we have presented here. Let's begin. Whee! And now we get to put it in the fridge for two hours so that it's nice and cold and yum. See you in two hours. Hiya friends, shall we have some cake? Mmm, I want some. First things first, we're gonna put a little sprinkle of icing sugar. All right, let's take it off. Ooh, <laughs> yum. Let's give it a little jab jab. Trying to get it out. Ugh, it's a mission. Ooh, have a look at that. That looks mega good. 
Shall we give it a little try? Well, 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 aren't you just delicious? I wasn't sure what I was expecting this to taste like, but it tastes really good. It's super delicious. I think that if you non-friends, <laughs> non-chefs, want to give this a go, I think you should, for sure. It's really delicious. So, was it truly easy to make? I think so. I think it was very easy to make. I think the only part I was starting to like panic with was how thick my cream custard thing in the center was, but that turned out fine. Yes, it's delicious and melts in the mail, but was it cheap? Considering I didn't have to buy any ingredients this recipe review for this recipe, I would say yeah, it was a pretty cheap week. <laughs> These don't happen often. So happy 1,000 subscribers, I'm so happy to have all of you here and joining the non-chef journey, my friends. Okay, well, I'm gonna get going now. So I'll see you next week for another recipe review. Bye.